Hey guys, it's the Plum Dot here and welcome back to my channel for another speed build. Today I am bringing you the June Rory Plays The Sims build challenge and the plans will be popping up on screen momentarily and I will keep them there for a bit just so you guys can see what I'm working with. Now before we get fully into this build, can we just stop and appreciate how absolutely adorable Rory looked on the live stream on Friday for the Sims 4 Fitness Stuff Pack? Her enthusiasm and her love for this game just absolutely make me smile. Sim guru roar anybody? I think so. Anyway, back to the build which I have named the Point Break. The Point Break will be coming to you in not one part, not two part, but three separate parts. Now why you ask three parts for a one bedroom, one bathroom beach shack? It's because my name is The Plum Dot and I am an indecisive sloth. <laughs> Hello. So for part one, we're going to be looking at the exterior of the build as well as the landscaping. Part two will be the kitchen and the front room. And then part three, we are going to end with the bedroom and the bathroom. Now I actually did film the landscaping last and that's just because I absolutely hate landscaping. And I think that's because I'm not very good at it, but I am getting a lot better with it and I do really love how it turned out in the point break. I think it's super, super cute. So I, go, I hope you guys really do enjoy what I did outside um, because I actually enjoyed it even though it took me ages. Surprise, surprise, something took me a long time. Um, so like I said, I did film the landscaping last. So you will see parts of the interior popping up once the landscaping starts. But for the full effect of the interior and to see the finished product, you guys will of course have to come back for parts two and three. Now the plans for this build, they were actually on, the house was actually on foundation. But because it's June, because it's summertime and because this is a beach shack, I really wanted it to be over open water. So I'm here building in Isla Paradiso, which came with the Island Paradise expansion pack. And I really love that we're able to build on stilts and build into the water. I just think that's a super, super cool feature. And um, so I wanted to take advantage of that and, and do that for this build. Now, as I was building, I was trying to think what type of sim or person would want to live in a one bedroom, one bathroom beach shack. I know I certainly wouldn't <laughs> because I hate the outdoors, I hate the heat, and I'm just not, I, I'm not a water baby. I, I don't like the water. So this house wouldn't be for me, but I, I was thinking who would want to live here? And I came up with the idea as I was building that a surfer chick would live here, a very fearless and fierce surfer chick. And I really liked that idea. And as I, as I was building, I thought, well, maybe I should do a, a cast of, of who I think would live here. So let me know in the comments, would you guys like to see a cast of a fierce, fearless surfer chick living in a one bedroom, one bathroom surf shack? Um, because I would love to do something like that for you guys. Um, and I think I, I would really enjoy it. And I hope that you would too. And um, so just going through and we are starting the landscaping now and I do go through and pull out loads of shrubs but that's just to get the sizing. Now for all of my builds I seem to go overboard on one thing. The last build it was the venting. I went a little bit venting crazy. For this one it's the rocks. There are so many rocks in this build but I think it adds to the build and it, it just makes it look sort of real to me like a house built on stilts built over rocks built on over the ocean loved it and um, and in a moment you're going to see one of my favorite things about this build and something that i've really been wanting for the sims for ages it's a freaking hammock you guys <laughs> i can't tell you how long I wanted a hammock in The Sims. Of course, this is CC, um, and I did have to go to the bottomless pits of CC and troll through amazing, amazing creators to find it, um, and other CC that I do use in this build, but I absolutely love it. And bonus, you guys, it works. It is a workable hammock, and I am so excited that it is in this build. I did fully play test this build, and I had my tester family go through and make sure everything works. The hammock works, praise the Lord. It works. <laughs> Can you tell I'm excited about it? Um, and there's no glitching or anything when they sleep or relax, which I think is absolutely fantastic. So I'm just gonna start working on the decking here. Um, I like the two tier decking um, that I put in with the hot tub. And I just imagine that the Sim would get in the hot tub at night after a long day of surfing and sort of pay homage to the ocean. Uh, because this surfer chick, I think she's a little water baby. She loves the water. And, um, 
The only thing that I think that the surfer chick and I would have in common is the beer. You guys saw me place the beer and I absolutely love beer. I don't like the outdoors, I'm not a fan of the heat, but I can drink some beer and I love it. <laughs> now speaking of heat you guys, it is so flipping hot in my flat. Like I, I think I'm getting dehydrated. <laughs> It, I, I, when I looked last before I started this voiceover, it was about 30 degrees Celsius, which I swear is like 100 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know. I'm not good at math, but it is hot and I'm sweating, which is gross. Um, so I'm, I'm sorry that I had to tell you that, but it, it's hot. And um, if you guys can hear my fan, I do apologize about that, but that is the my only source of air. I had to lock myself in this in my front room. So I didn't have any background noise. So if you hear my fan, I do apologize. Now, you guys just saw me place a couple of lawn chairs, and I absolutely do love those lawn chairs, and they will make a reappearance, but sadly I wasn't able to keep them because they just didn't work out in the open. I just thought it was a bit weird to have two lawn chairs facing the ocean um, with nothing really around it. And, well, there's a fire pit behind it, but I just thought it was weird with the fire pit and then the, 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 the I can't even speak, sorry, with the lawn, lounge chairs lounge <laughs> chairs behind it um so i do get rid of them but i do love them now another favorite feature of mine with this with the point break is this rock wall i absolutely love stacking rocks on top of each other the only thing that i wish was a little bit better was the fact that the if the rocks actually touched the ocean floor and that's probably just because I extended the deck too far so it's almost at the edge of the lot so i guess the the best way to counter that would be to have a smaller deck <laughs> that that would be the smartest thing to do and I'll remember that for for future but I do really like the rock wall and I did put some grass from by debug in there as well as some sea stars that you can see and I think I placed some kelp as well um, but I think the rock wall just really gives some depth to the build and our little surfer chick water water baby she's got herself a boat so she can go out on the open ocean and just enjoy her time out there and maybe fish from the boat and catch some dinner and I wanted to place some bikes because I just thought it'd be really really cool to bike around the island and I think I think the surfer chick is going to be eco-friendly as well and she's going to take her bike everywhere she's not going to be a big car person um so I think we've got pretty good makings of this surfer chick and her traits let me know what you think and there's those chairs again <laughs> um so I'm just going into the terrain paints and I do I do struggle with terrain paints and I think it's just because I've got a little bit of an unsteady hand but I do fix it up with the greenery and um, going in pit, placing some shrubs and so the last part of the build is really just the landscaping now there is a really funny part that's coming up towards the end of the build where as I was doing it I was thinking to myself is that can is this possible and what I did was I placed a palm tree in the water <laughs> and I thought is that something you can do in real life can palm trees grow in the water? Is that a thing? I didn't, <laughs> I was questioning myself, but then I was like, it's the Sims, move objects on on works, so why not? And so I did it. And, and just this last thing that I wanna mention, those are little like rugs uh, that are meant to look like stones and I wanted it to look like the sand was around the stone, but I just didn't like how it looked. So I ended up deleting those and just going for the full sort of sand plot. And there's not much left in the build, so I think I'm going to leave you with all the shrubs, the greenery, and some music to jam out to, to finish off the build. But if you did enjoy watching the point break, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, let me know about the surfer chick if you've got any more ideas for her. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, why don't you go ahead and hit that button. Don't be a plum stranger now, guys. Bye! Mm -hmm.